Um, this is the DSP 9R, our flag, our new loudspeaker, which we launched an hour ago, maybe. <laughs> May have seen the live stream. Um, so this follows on from our flagship DSP 8000 XE. Uh, first thing is, it's a lot more compact form. Um, I'm used to standing like this. <laughs> uh, this will fit in a lot more rooms. It's um, aesthetically very, very um, sympathetic. We do it in a variety of um, paint finishes as well. So the thing with this loudspeaker, it's a DSP um, active loudspeaker. So all of the electronics are concealed inside. Um, each speaker has around 1.2 kilowatts of power. Um, each drive unit has its own power amplifier as well. So they have a lot of power contained within here. Um, the main thing is, what the technology is, is amazing, but really it's the result of the technology that you want to enjoy. So um, one of the things that we've all heard is someone playing on the drums in real life. And so when they hit the kick drum, when they hit the snare and the hi-hat, all of those sounds travel at the same time. Now, in a loudspeaker, the bass drivers are big, and so therefore take longer to get moving. So what happens is the mid and high frequency sounds, the snare and the hi-hat will leave, and the bass will be behind. And the lower the bass, the further behind it will leave. So we have a technology that aligns those frequencies, or full frequency alignment. So this track I'm going to play really shows off that. It's the speed of the bass, uh, the clarity of the bass, and also the size of the sound stage you can create. I'm going to play as female vocal, um, so this puts a lot of energy into, into the mid-range. It's really uh, important the mid-range has power and clarity. You don't want to have a uh, breakup or distortion, the voice sounds harsh on, so it should be very smooth and clean and open. Um, and that's something we're really proud of with, with this loudspeaker. You'll also notice sounds which are outside of the um, the speakers as well, so that we call it the spatial resolution is very, very good on the uh, DSP9. And when the saxophone comes in, it's a really rich, full sound of the sax. Um, it, it sounds super, you know, super natural. Stars like apples from the sky 
threatening to throw them in the sea so we won't have anything to gaze upon what happened to liberty and the bridges we almost got done breaking like glass but faith is hard like stone <clears throat> really really easy to listen to very comfortable very natural sounding um, exactly what we're trying to recreate when whenever you're making a loudspeaker or otherwise you're just trying to transport the listener to the original you know listening environment even with the noise that's going on behind us you're still able to pick out those small details i'm going to play something a bit bigger sounding so it's a male vocal uh, with piano so some of his voice will dip into the bass section of the speaker and some will be in the mid-range uh, but again a really rich voice really um, good to listen to in a large scale um, piano sound response of this speaker is 20 hertz to 40 kilohertz uh, minus 3 dB points. So you have really, really low frequency bass extension. Most people don't believe us because it's not uncommon to inflate one's uh, frequency response numbers. So I'm going to play you a bass test track that we use. So bass should be powerful. It should be able to move all of the air molecules in the room. It also should have texture, control and precision in there as well. You'll hear on this electronic track, there is a really low bass note, but it has a stop and a start, it breathes, it has a growl to it almost. Um, so buckle up life fittings, because uh, they will get a little bit rattly, I'm afraid. We couldn't stop that from happening. Uh, this is a good test of the power of that.
in this compact speaker. Now the interesting thing is, you listen to my voice as I walk backwards, so imagine I'm the loudspeaker. If I go into the corner, my voice will start to sound thicker, more bass, more chest. Now that happens in real life too, like if I move my speaker back, the sound will be richer. So we created a technology called FreeQ, where you can tell the speaker where it is and you can change them to four different positions. And it just takes off some of the bass energy that the room would create as well. So this is the speakers in their wall position. So we've already rolled off some of the low frequencies. So even in a big space like this, we have more power than this room can, uh, can handle without coupling with the speaker, making the sound uh, unclear and imprecise. And that technology is just a switch, you know, flick with the remote control to find out which setting works best in your environment. Since there was quite a menacing growl on that bass track, we'll finish with something happier. Um, so a nice a cappella with uh, vocal and uh, whistling and a really good sense of spaciousness. song I wrote, you might want to sing it note for note, don't worry, be happy, in every life we have some trouble, when you worry you make it double, don't worry, be happy, don't worry, be happy now. Um, yeah. What's the price? So these are sixty thousand pounds in in a piano black finish, or sixty five thousand pounds in any any finish. So wait, wait, wait. sorry, again sixty sixty thousand in piano black. Yes, sixty five thousand in satin or McLaren orange or any of the other colours. Five hundred euro. Yeah. Pounds. Yeah. For every colour you have. Any colour, any colour you like. Yeah. Okay. We we don't limit it. I know. <laughs> Just code. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah. just 500? 5,000. 5,000. Oh, 5,000. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Same. <laughs> 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 it's only money. <laughs> yeah, so we were using, uh, we're streaming with Brune, and we're using our um, our reference um, preamplifier, the 818, uh, with some streaming with Brune. Um, as I say, this has the ability to work with any preamplifier. Um, RCA and XLR input, so you can work with any analog preamp. Um, you can plug your streamer straight into it, you can Bluetooth to it, uh, so you have a lot of flexibility um, with that. The uh, speakers weigh 68 kilograms each, so they're, they're very thick, very inert cabinets. Um, hmm? How much? 68 kilos. Yeah, you can, what? Yeah, <laughs> you can feel every time you move it. <laughs> Because we want the cabinet to be very stiff and inert, so yeah, you have to do a lot of layers. What a material! That, uh, what kind of material? So it's a composite. So we have, but if you go from the inside out, there's a, a resin inside, and then yes. there's a five axis um, CNC machined MDF on the outside, and then we have the paint layer on the, on the final finish. So five axis means that you can get these complex curves. So there's not, well, there is a flat surface. It's the very top. Uh, but as you move around the side, the radius curves all the way around, uh, and the front baffle is also uh, curved too. I really love them. Oh, I think they're beautiful, yeah. The only bad thing is now it makes my other brilliant speakers look old, so I need to buy some of these. <laughs> Just need to work out how. Correct, um, yeah. yes. And then coming into our Ah, yeah, so the exact way it works is we have the, the uh, in inputs are connected to the DSD board, and then we feed four um, RJ45 cables, balanced digital, 
which go to the DAC boards. And so if you imagine this is the power amp you have, the, the class AB and the class D. The DAC for the class AB sits right on top of the power amp. The same for this. So there's a DAC for the base, a DAC for the top. And then we have a, a four centimeter hand soldered XLR connection. So the analog circuit is this long, straight into the class D for the base drivers, and class AB for the top of the mid and high frequency. And then we have maybe 30 centimeters of speaker cable um, to each drive unit. So we, we work really hard on keeping the signal path as clean as possible so we don't add any noise or pick up any distortion. Um, it's something we pioneered in the to go to I will see you later. Hour. I think. Your weeks last.